Om Shanti, welcome back. We're doing the recording of 2nd of September, Godly Blessing. Here, Father wants us to be somebody who gives others courage during the time of upheaval. Now, the upheaval can be a financial problem, can be a physical health related problem, can be a relationship related problem. It can be anything which makes a person at unease. So, how do we bring that person back to ease is what we want to talk over here and what Father wants us to do. God says, may you be a true server who as a social worker, who as a social worker gives courage to others to overcome situations at times of upheaval. Now what kind of social worker are we looking at? We are not looking at somebody who is doing social work in terms of finances, in terms of giving any kind of physical help. We are talking about helping somebody to choose the right path, to make the right decisions with the help of spirituality, with the help of spiritual knowledge, which is also known as wisdom. So here God says, now from time to time, upheaval is going to increase in the world. Aren't we seeing that on the own eyes? Aren't we hearing that in the news? Now, this is something which we get to learn when we are doing the seven day course of Brahma Kumari, that what exactly is the plan of God in the future and how exactly are all of us going to go into liberation. That means all of us souls are going to leave our bodies and leave for the world where we came from. And by the way, we are not going to get anything to be taken along with us when we go back up. Only our thoughts, the blessings which we have earned and the karmas which we have done in the form of sanskars. So God then says, while hearing news of peacelessness and violence, you spiritual social worker children. Now this is spiritual social worker as we said, it's not a physical social worker. You can help somebody with finances over a period of time till some time only. Look at countries which are devastated with war. How much more money can you give to those countries so, so as to build them up? Okay, You can't bring back their losses, physical, mental, emotional losses just by giving money. That is where the spiritual organizations like Brahma Kumaris come in. And they have been serving in certain places like this where there is a lot of violence. So God says, you spiritual social worker children have to become specially alert and use your powerful vibrations to fill everyone with the powers of peace and tolerance. That's what we do in the 6.30 to 7.30 meditation every evening. We sit down for one hour or half an hour, 45 minutes and we send vibrations of peace and love and purity and happiness and joy to all the countries in the world, to all the five elements in the world. And that is the greatest service which one can do through vibrations, through thoughts. And thoughts have an effect on everything faster than even voice. God then says, be a lighthouse and give everyone the light of peace. Fulfill this duty at a fast speed so that souls can receive spiritual assurance that yes, there is going to be some kind of solution. There is going to be some form of relief from this kind of pain and peacelessness in their life. Let them have that and for that one needs to pray for them. And we can only pray for them when we don't have any burdens in our heart. We don't have any ill feelings in our heart when we are completely soul conscious, not at all biased, completely unbiased and pure in our heart and mind. Only then those vibrations can carry forward with your pure feelings. Because feelings are the carrier for your thoughts. God then says, speed so that souls can receive spiritual assurance. They are burning in fires of sorrow and so let them experience becoming full of cool water and that cool water is your blessings, is your thoughts and those thoughts have to be very pure and very powerful. The purer they are, the more powerful they are and they can pierce through somebody's negative shields of thoughts, negative aura around them, it can pierce through that aura and reach to them and give them peace and love and happiness and whatsoever they need in that moment of peacelessness. 
how do you do that how you serve the whole of humanity because we come on this earth not to just earn money and take care of ourselves and be selfish we have come here to serve humanity and in the eyes of god be risen up be that lucky star be that diamond in god's eyes wouldn't you like to be like that with this function